I have. I'm kind of out of breath. I'm getting in and out from vacuuming. Holy moly. I'm going to go ahead and sage my truck now. So now that I'm getting my truck set up, I want to pull in a bit more intentionality and understanding about the process now that I've lived in it a little bit and traveled with it. Rather than cre recreating exactly what I had last time, I want to level up to version 2.0. Nice. I'm going to get my bed put in here. Okay, so one of the first things that I have for the bed is this blue blow up mattress. The next thing I have is a three inch foam mattress. It's like a memory foam thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so then, oh my golly. Ooh. I have a bed that feels pretty comfortable. So before I get too much into any more layers of blankets and such, I'm gonna do another round of sage and set in some attention with this sleeping quarters. I want a bed that allows me to access wonderful dream states and intuitive knowings. I want um, safety uh, as I engage in this chariot sleeping out in the world as a single female I comfort definitely want to be comfortable back here back here i want my body to feel really good back here so i couldn't quite find all of the blankets that i wanted so i will deal with color matching and decorating in the next version i've got this sheet that goes against my body Making the bed in here is an interesting exercise. Okay, so then I will put this guy on. Ah, I like that blue. Ah, and then my top blanket. Okay, Whew. I tell you folks, it is a workout on my knees and on my butt back and forth wowie kazow all right i had to move the truck into my garage since there is a storm coming in and so i have the bed set up and now i want to get some of the items back in my vehicle A chair and this is a portable table yes I can use this trunk space as a table however having a portable table allows me to put a stove on top of the table so I have my burner stove and I got this portable cook set that has two pots and a handle and I can use this as a lid and also a plate and then also I am gonna need propane for the camp stove and then I have silverware and now I have this extra plate and bowl this seems a little excessive so those are secondary options I do want to boil water and make coffee so I have this strainer for coffee along with some filters for easy disposal on the road less mess What's really cool is it came with this black mesh bag so I can put all the kitchen stuff in this bag Another thing that I like to have with me in my truck is a portable fan. It runs on batteries and at night it gives me white noise and it also allows for some circulation. On the topper that I have, the windows open up halfway. So there is a nice cross breeze that is available. However, this adds a little extra directional oomph. So let me show you what I have so far. I have my kayak and the table and the chair and a life vest and a fan. And I put one of my life vests down here underneath this and I open this up and now I have these two buckets and I can put kitchenware and um, gloves and such. 
So that's going to be there. And then I can put my towels and all of that kind of in this little nooky area. And then I'll have to use these pulleys to secure everything. So, whoo. All right. So I kind of have an idea about clothes like long johns and bathing suits, like the spectrum of weather that we get here at the base of the mountains and the top of the mountains and kitchenware for cooking, but I also need to think about toiletries and um, kind of like a bag to put my food in. So, you know, like with bears and such. So kind of start thinking about the pantry and the toiletries.